now. Let's pray from tonight to the day they come back. Are you ready? Let's pray. Our Father God, we thank you that you have orchestrated this to a place called Zimbabwe. We thank you that nation in this coming week is going to have a new dimension of his son, Jesus Christ, and how he will break through many leaders. We thank you that atmosphere will pierce it in Jesus' name as they land and put the feet in Zimbabwe from that plane. God will become arrows in your hand and you've already told them what to say, Father. And you thank you for transformation in the heart of people, leaders, and for the news coverage that will come and even the news that will go to the president's office to know that Indians have come from Devon, South Africa with a different message to bless Zimbabwe, to tell our Zimbabwe to know Christ in a measure beyond our anticipation. Father, we thank you for it. We give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you no weapon formed against them shall ever prosper in Jesus' name. We thank you for the accuracy of the word that will come out of the mouth. And thank you, Father, that you will give leeway of relationships, newfound relationships for the end times. I thank you, Father, that this word will find a good place. I give you praise for that, Lord. I thank you for the wives and the children who will leave behind. Our family members, we all going to pray that God going to use them and we will rejoice of what you're doing, Lord. We hear the good news, Lord, of good report. Lord, we thank you, the same spirit that was upon Paul as a missionary will be upon them. We thank you for everything you're going to do in their life, Lord. Lord, the encounters they're going to have with parliament members, people on the streets, Lord. Every focus upon what they're going to do, Lord. Like Paul of all, they'll say, for me to live is Christ. To die is gain. And we send them in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just